And after part one, we come, of course, to part two. In this lesson, we're going to look at uh, three new things. We're going to talk about entering a radical sign with a fraction under it and a Greek letter. And the problem is this. We're given the volume of a sphere. We want to find its radius. So if we have a weather balloon with a volume of 10 cubic meters, uh, how big around is it? Well, the diameter would be double the radius, which is what we need. So that's how we would uh, approach this problem. Uh, again, we find a line and click to make a space, and go up to Insert and come over to Equation. And again, we will go to Home and choose a larger font, like Calibra 16. Begin by typing first part of the equation, which is R, is equal to... Now, we notice that everything that follows the equal sign is under a cube root radical. So how do we go about entering that? Well, we go back to Equation Tools, come up to Radical, and we see several different possibilities here. We've got the square root, we've got a root with the, uh, the degree uh, left blank, we've got uh, square root, we've got a cube root. Uh, just for the fun of it, let's choose this, which is the most general form available. All right, now we'll have a field on the outside here. We'll put the three eventually, and then we have the field under the radical where we'll put all this other stuff. So what is all that other stuff? All that other stuff is... Stand by, I've got a phone call. Okay, we're back. Now, as I was saying, the field underneath the radical is going to take this big fraction with stuff on top and stuff on the bottom. So we go back up, having highlighted that field right there, we go up and we click on Fraction. Now the top part of the fraction we can type in on the keyboard 3 and a capital V and on the bottom we can type 4. Now we need the Greek letter Pi. So we go up to the Symbols drop down, find the Greek letter Pi and click on it, come back in and complete the setup of the equation by putting a 3 there to indicate that it is in fact a cube root. Again, that would be as far as we would need to go, except we have a number and we need to actually find the radius. So as we did before, we'll highlight the whole equation. On the keyboard, click Control C. Go to New Line. Put a space in front. On the keyboard, click Control V. And now we can come into the equation again and instead of V we can put 10 and meters is cubed so that is something that requires an exponent so we'll go back to the script field click there put meters and cube there now we need to get to the next field over to close our our parentheses. To do that, we go to the keyboard and click on the right arrow key. Then we can put in the right hand parentheses. And just to wrap things up, we copy the equation again and we put in all the numbers. We put in 10 uh, for our cubic meters as we did before. We entered 3.14 for pi. Uh, of course, you can put in uh, a more accurate value for pi if you need to right there. Uh, one thing to note is this point right here we changed the cubic meters to meters and moved it outside the radical. So our answer will be in meters which is the correct unit for measuring the radius of something. Uh, simplifying the numbers under the radical we have 2.39 the cube root of that is 1.34 meters and that concludes the problem and that concludes this example.